across and that one came flying. Got him. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get a reaction out of them, but I think it's a nice one, but not a magnum. But they're fun to catch, man. You can't come to Lake of the Woods without getting a lake trout in the boat. Kind of got a few different areas where you can catch them, and look at this. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah. yeah I like it. That's like, I had a bait down there for about two minutes. And a bingo. We are barbless, so, oh, he's all twisted up now. Oh, you got the rod? Uh, no. You're good, okay. He's angry. He got himself untwisted there a bit. Okay, we're untwisted now. All right, we got her. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Same bait we use for bass and walleyes. Little jerk shad. And these big lake trout will hammer them too. That's it right there, guys. Isn't that awesome? Cool. Awesome. Okay, got to take care of these things, guys. So we got a quick photo. Woo, he's happy. <laughs> that was fun. Awesome. That was fun. All of two minutes. All right, guys, so Lake of the Woods, you got, and across Sunset Country, you got a lot of really good lake trail water. So um, many ways to catch them. In the summertime, like this, you're gonna fish deeper. Um, we're not super deep, we're in like 70 feet right now. That fish came near the bottom and I hooked it about halfway up. But uh, you can catch them trolling, down rigging, um, with spoons, crankbaits, you can catch them any number of ways. I really like to just get on top of them, mark them on the electronics and just drop a jerk shad down there. It used to be a white tube jig, but the these, just, these baits are better, I think, and the trout like them. Uh, you know, we're fishing in, in some barbless water right now, so we got the barbs pinched. And but that's it right there. Same bait that we're using for bass and walleyes to catch his trout too. They're the, eating the same ciscos and, and smelt that the other fish are. Um, but yeah, something to do. There's plenty of them out here and uh, just get on the end of a deep, you know, we're just on the end of a point right now where it kind of just dumps right off to close to the deep water. And uh, you can catch them you know, out over the base and suspended as well. But that's if you're trolling, you can kind of, you know, really cover a lot more ground. The jigging, you want to be next to some kind of structure, whether it's a point or a hump. But, uh, but yeah, get that down there, move it around in the water column. They could be anywhere from right on bottom to, you know, halfway to the surface. So keep an eyeball on the electronics and see where they're at. He's yeah, I just up. started reeling it up and he just came like burning Smoked after it. it. They're actually more like even shallower. Yeah, here comes another one. I just ripped it off the bottom. Oh, that feels heavy, boys. Yeah. Literally, I'm in 70 feet. I just reeled it fast up to 30, and this thing just came flying up and smoked it. That's another, another jumbo. And I mean, you could use heavier tackle, but it's pretty fun getting them on the bass gear. Uh, and I got a 12 pound leader on, so I'm not sitting here for 30 minutes, you know, totally gassing the thing, but, uh, but yeah, that's a 872 NRX, kind of the rod that I use for the jerk shads and tubes, just kind of a do everything spinning rod. You get them around on this side. Just kind of wanting to come over here, yeah. It's a little bit of a, not quite as big as the other one, but still a big old fish. If we had a net, he'd be in the net already, but it's okay. They got a nice tail you can grab with. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? They're so pretty. They're healthy too. They're fat. They look good. That hook should just come right out. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. 
Love these things. And yeah, those are old fish guys. So if you get them, get a picture quick, get them back. And uh, they're, they're fine. Can't your part. All right, we tried the uh, underspin that time. And they like it too. <laughs> Feels heavy? Yeah. It's not a small one. He hasn't done his big run yet. There he goes. <laughs> They're wrist burners, man. Yeah, this is a big one. They're all, they've all been big ones, but this one feels the heaviest. Yeah, you never know. They just fight so hard, but this one feels, feels heavy. You always want to, like, get a little look at them and see what you're dealing with. Because you could get, like, a 30-pounder out here. There's, those are pretty rare, but I've seen a few of them in my life. There's the leader. Oh yeah, that's oh, a yeah. nice one. It's a big one. Similar to the other ones. <laughs> Come here, guy. They're all healthy and thick. Yeah. Okay. Settle. We got you. I gotcha. <laughs> He's really fighting me, so I don't have a totally awesome grip on him yet, but look at that. That was on the underspin. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Sweet. And off she goes. Yeah. No reviving those things. They're just let, ready to go. All good. Give us the report here. Well, Jeff let me uh, drop a line down for some lake trout. And we've been fighting this one for probably five minutes now. Came up to the surface, showed itself, and then went right back down. Beautiful fish on the uh, underspin, I believe. If I can tail grab him. No, no. Got him. Yeah, they're tough. I'm going to... You're covered in slime, but that's okay. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Back down she goes. Okay, well, that was a quick little stop on the Lakers. Went pretty good. Caught a few nice ones. Uh, so good to see. We're going to get back on the bass and walleye hunt here, but just shows the versatility of that bait. And, uh, you know, like we've said, it just sort of catches everything. And... These lake trout, um, obviously, Whitefish Bay Area, Sioux Narrows has a bunch of them, and then the, the west arm of the lake has some. Uh, so just be aware where you're at. Uh, if you're in Clearwater Bay, um, you got to fish barbless uh, year round, no ice fishing for them. Whitefish Bay, you can, um, you can actually keep a few of them, and uh, you know, if you're ice fishing out there, it's barbless, sort of. But know the regulations. Uh, but yeah. Great lake trout population out here, some big ones, and they're just a lot of fun to catch.